on today's installment of Big Al's Garage. Timing! How y'all doing? I'm Big Al, welcome to the garage. Today, Corvair's engine needs to have its timing set. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to demonstrate the use of a timing light. So let's get to it. So, first off we have our timing light. Negative, positive clips go on the negative, positive and negative terminals. Get the wires untangled. This thing has an uncanny ability to tie itself in knots. Then this clip goes on our number one spark plug wire, like so. And now, to actually set the timing, you would re rotate the distributor either clockwise or counterclockwise to either advance or retard the timing. We need to advance it a little bit. What I'll do is this is actually a strobe light, the timing light. And what you do is you aim it at the balancer. It has a small notch, and the flashing strobe will actually make the notch look like it's standing still and allow you to set the timing. So I'm going to start the car, and I'm going to actually set the timing to about 16 degrees before top dead center. Moments later. You have to disconnect the line that comes off the vacuum advance to the passenger side carburetor, plug it with a golf tee. That was interesting. I think now let's check the line. Okay, now the timing is actually right about where it should be. folks. That's how you set the timing on a 65 Chevy Corvair, or any Corvair really. All you need is a timing light, a 9 16 wrench, and a golf tee. That's all for today. I hope you will please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next installment.